Introducing to you Trilogy at Sunstone by Shea Holmes. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And when it comes to 55 plus retirement communities, I'm your go-to gal. I like to know about all of them here in the Las Vegas Valley, including Henderson. So set within the Sunstone Master Plan community is a brand new 55 plus active adult retirement community called Trilogy Sunstone by Shea Holmes. This community is offering resort style living in a highly desirable area in the northwest side of Las Vegas, right off of Kyle Canyon. So this community is going to be close to, I mean, it's on the northwest side of the town, off of the 95. You're going to be super close to Mount Charleston. You're going to be close to Red Rock Canyon, maybe 20 minutes away, 25 minutes away from the Las Vegas Strip. I personally, myself, prefer the northwest side of the valley, and I'm super excited to introduce this brand new community to you guys. Trilogy Sunstone is expected to feature some of Shea's newest floor plans from their Freedom Collection. With a variety of home sizes and attractive prices, ranging from the low 300s to the mid 500s, Trilogy will have a home for you that will fit your lifestyle. The model homes in this community just recently opened up. They had been pre-selling for a while in Sunstone Trilogy, but now the model homes are open, so they're really hard selling in this community. There are 13 floor plans to choose from, and eight of them are modeled. As soon as this video is released, in the next couple weeks or so, I will be releasing a video for each of the model homes. Um, and I was very, very impressed. I really, really loved that area. It had a good vibe, a good energy. The mountain views were phenomenal. Um, and if you know anything about me, besides Summerlin, I love the northwest part of the valley. I love the openness of it. It's less congested. The roads are a lot wider. It's not as crowded up in the northwest as it is, say, southwest or Henderson or parts of Las Vegas. Um, so this is an awesome 55 plus retirement community. I'm gonna go over basically how much the HOA costs, the amenities that this community is gonna offer, and the different collections that this community has as well. There are four different collections to choose from, from single story homes to duplexes, which are single story homes that are joined together. And eventually they're gonna have like condos like they do in the Trilogy Summerlin, um, where there's you take an elevator to the third floor. But right now they're focusing on selling the 13 different floor plans, single story living in this community. And the size ranges between 1342 square feet to 2579 square feet, two to four bedrooms, two to three bathrooms, and the starting price is at 366,990. Now, of course, by the time you watch this video, the price may be higher, maybe lower, highly unlikely that it'll be lower, but the starting price is in the mid 300s. They say low 300s, but it's more like the mid 300s. Uh, the nice thing about this community is that the lot premiums are anywhere between $0 to 39,000 you may not have a lot that's gonna have like extremely nice views, unlike some of the communities in Summerlin, but for a lot premium of 39 max, that's pretty good. They will have, um, some of the homes are up against a Paseo or a like walking path with some greenery. Those homes that are backed up to the Paseo will have view fencing. The rest of the community, the homes are fully fenced in with um, cinder block or you know some sort of block walls. And the average lot size is around 6,000 square feet. You know, we live in Las Vegas, don't expect getting half an acre or an acre lot sizes. This is a master plan community where they try to keep everything, you know, confined into one area. So don't expect huge lot sizes in it. The 55 plus social hub of Trilogy Sunstone is planned to be modern amenity rich resort club with stylish spaces designed to bring neighborhoods together. 
This community will have planned parks, trails, and open space within the Sunstone community with the Future Resort Club at the heart of it all to help you connect with your fellow fun-loving people. The one nice thing about this community is, yes, it is a 55 plus active adult community. However, they do have what's called the 80-20 rule, meaning that 80% of the homeowners have to be 55 or older, and the other 20% can be 19 and older. So that's pretty awesome that someone like me, I'm in my 40s, if I wanted to live in that type of lifestyle or community, I can't. So that's pretty phenomenal. and. Um, I always say that the retirement communities offer a lot more than normal other communities. I'm going to go over what this community has to offer shortly, but first I wanted to go over the different HOA packages. This is a staff gated community, meaning it could be guard gated, staff gated, it's a gated community, um, which is awesome. And there are going to be membership fees when you join. So the community membership for the Freedom Collection, which I had mentioned earlier, are four different collections, and I'm gonna go into those collections shortly, but the four different collection is you have your resort collection, which are the duplexes, you have your Freedom 35 collection, your Freedom 40 collection, and your Freedom 50 collection. So that Freedom Collection, the HOA, the initiation fee is 5,000 to get into the HOA fee. Um, when you buy into these retirement communities, a lot of them have what's called a new homeowner's assessment fee. Uh, I know Sun City Summerlin's around $1,700, but this fee is uh, $5,000. It is refundable, partially refundable, like up to 70, 75% if you decide not to move in the community once you've already paid that $5,000 fee but it gets you into the community so that way you only pay your HOA dues and you don't have to pay other dues to take advantage of all the amenities that this community has to offer. Um, so there's gonna be two phase HOA fees because phase one, they're only releasing certain amenities and then phase two, they're gonna really release the rest of the amenities. So I would say probably not for another year or so when everything is completed um, is when all the amenities will be available. So in the phase one pricing, um, there's gonna be several different kinds of fees. You're gonna have the phase one completion of $158 a month. Once phase one is completed, then it's gonna be $208 a month. This is to actually enjoy the amenities inside Sunstone Trilogy. Then you're gonna have two separate association fees. One is gonna be Sunstone Trilogy Association and the other one is going to be for living in the Sunstone Master Plan community. So the Sunstone Master Association is $50 a month, and then the Trilogy Sunstone Sub Association is $81 a month. The total association during phase one fees is going to be $289. After they've completed all the amenities, then phase two HOA dues are gonna be $339. Now there is no golf course community, but they are gonna offer homes with golf cart garages. So maybe if you live in the community and wanna just drive to the community center, you can drive in, the, in your golf cart. <laughs> we'll see. Now community membership for the resort collection, which is the duplex or the townhomes or the two homes that are joined together, it's gonna to be a little more. And the reason it's gonna be a little more is that you do not have to maintain the front yard. I'm not sure what else that these dues cover at the moment. The agent couldn't tell me, but that the, it was easy maintenance where you didn't have to maintain the front yard. The initiation fee is the same, which is $5,000, but the phase one completion HOA is also 158, phase two completion 208. And so all those fees are the same. The Sunstone Master Association, $51. The Trilogy Sunstone Sub Association, $81. But then they have an additional fee of um, $128, and that's your maintenance fee. So total HOA dues for phase one is $417 a month. After that, then on phase two, your monthly HOA dues is $467. So it's kind of high. I mean, it does offer a lot of amenities, but 400 additional a month is pretty high compared to the rest of the other 55 plus retirement communities here in the Valley. 
But then again, they do offer a lot more because most of the retirement communities in the Valley will have a clubhouse and fitness facility and a ballroom, et cetera. They're gonna have a lot more in this one compared to the other ones. Then there's gonna be invitational membership for the modern collection. And the modern collection, from what I understand, is the condo living where you have first, second, third floor, kind of comparable to Trilogy and Summerlin. Um, and these HOA, of course, the initiation fee is still $5,000. And the completion phase one dues is gonna be $150 a month. Phase two dues will be $200 a month. And then the Sunstone Master Plan community is still $50. And the Trilogy Sunstone Sub-Association is still $81, but on this one, you're gonna be paying an additional $373 for the Condo Association. So phase one total HOA pricing is $654. And then phase two total HOA condo and everything included is $704. That's a lot of money as well. It's a little more than Sunstone in Summerlin. I do believe theirs is around 500 and change. I could be wrong, but from what I remember, it was around $500. So that's it for the HOA dues. It's pretty interesting. After that, the amenities that this community is gonna offer is gonna be done in two phases. You have phase one and phase two. Uh, phase one is slated for completion in early 2022. Uh, the Kabachan Club, Kabachan? I think that's how you say it. Uh, will soon be the social hub of Trilogy Sunstone. This 15,000 square foot resort club is planned to be home to exciting resort-like amenities and dedicate hospitality team to create um, their live happier lifestyle every day. Phase one club facilities, you're gonna have the Welcome Center and Gatehouse. Then there's Kindred and Main Coffee House and Bar. And then O.H. Ellen's Culinary Studio, men's and ladies locker rooms, resort pool and cabana, and pickleball courts. That's part of phase one. But then in phase two, for future enhancements, they're gonna have what's called Cooper's Oak Kitchen plus tap restaurant, bocce courts, event center, connect for game patio, hiking, biking trails, event lawns, and a dog park. So this is gonna offer a lot of amenities where you won't have to leave the facilities. You can just stay here. There's gonna be a restaurant. All you have to do is leave to go get groceries, <laughs> right? Um, but a dog park, event center lounge, the connect four, the um, restaurant and bar, the coffee shop. Then they're gonna have an afterburn facility or afterburn fitness. Um, I have done, I've created a page on my website going over all the amenities that this awesome community is gonna to have to offer. And I mean, the list goes on and on and it goes in detail what Kindred and Maine is about and what the um, the Cooper Oaks Kitchen is. Um, so just if you wanna learn more detail, go to my website. I've posted a link down in the description below. And I've also posted a link to all the different models and floor plans as well. That'll take you, take you directly to Trilogy Sunstone. After this video is posted, I'm going to post every day or as much as I can in the next two weeks, all the model home tours that I took of it. As I mentioned before, there are four different collections. I'm gonna go over those four different collections. The first collection is the resort collection, which is a duplex community where there's two homes, townhomes joined together. They're very nice. And in that collection, there's gonna be three different models to choose from. The square footage ranges between 1342 square feet to 1678 square feet, and the starting price is 366,990. This community also will have different elevations. For the duplexes, they only have two different elevations to choose from, but for the remaining other three collections, they have three different elevations per model. And what an elevation is, it's the different look of each of the houses. It could be they are using different stone, the, the roof is, Roof line is different. They just try to make it look different so it's not so cookie cutter. The next collection is the Freedom 35 collection. And as I go through the collections, the homes get bigger in size. So the Freedom 35 collection square footage is between 1507 square feet to 1811 square feet. And the starting price is 405990 Again, these are just starting prices. 
things could be different by the time you watch this video. It could be higher, it could be lower. More than likely, hopefully, it just will be the same and not go any higher. The next collection is the Freedom 40 collection. And this one, the square footage will range between 1622 square feet to 2061 square feet. And the starting price in this community is 433,990. This one also has three different models to choose from. And last is Freedom 50 collection. And this is gonna be your largest collection out of all of them with the starting square footage of around 2041 to 2579. And the starting price is 507,990. And this one has four different models to choose from. That is all the collections as of now. They will have the modern collection, which again, as I mentioned, is the condo community living. Um, and that's probably not going to happen for a while. They probably want to focus on these collections first. Now, because this is new construction, I always say, and I'm just going to briefly go over this, when you want to buy new construction, it's very important to bring your own real estate agent to represent you on your very first visit. I am a new home sales expert. I've sold 25 new homes just this year. So I've played the game, I know the game, and I know how to uh, help you in this crazy real estate market, okay? Now you can do it on your own, but it's always nice to have free service to be a sounding board to help you out when you make your purchase, especially if you are never lived in Vegas and you need some sounding advice. Yeah, you can rely on the sales reps in that community. However, they're gonna be dealing with a lot of other clients that are buying in that community. I think this is gonna be an awesome 55 plus active adult retirement community. Sunstone, I'm really excited to learn more as this community develops as well. It's gonna be, in my opinion, kind of comparable to Sky Canyon, and it's on the other side of the freeway, an exit down from Sky Canyon, again, off of Kyle Canyon. Um, and it's in the northwest side of the valley, off of the 95. It's gonna be awesome, and I like the fact that they have the event lawns, the doggy park, the coffee shop, the bar, the restaurant, everything that you need. And I have a lot of clients looking to live in communities where they can enjoy the lifestyle, walk to these bars and restaurants without having to get in the car or maybe even use your golf cart <laughs> to, to check it out. But I'm so excited about this community and I wanted to bring it to you and introduce it to you. Again, pay attention. Ever since, once I post this video every day or at least I'm going to be posting at least for the next two weeks all the model homes that I took a tour of, and that should be about eight different homes. Anyways, if you're thinking about buying here in the Las Vegas Valley, you know who to call, right? Me, Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor at 702-370-5112, or I've posted a link to a buyer form down in the description below. As always, if you like this video, what? Hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment down below, share with a friend, and smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you guys on the next one.